starting a brand new way of teaching at the feast. We're starting something exciting. God is birthing a whole new generation of people who will hunger to follow the Word. By book, verse by verse chapter by chapter, story by story. We're gonna sit at the Master's feet with total humility and allow the text as divinely inspired to speak to our hearts. Get ready because we're gonna start this journey of longing and really understanding God and His Word for you.
we're starting a brand new way of teaching at the feast. We're starting something exciting. God is birthing a whole new generation of people who will hunger to follow the Word. By book, verse by verse, chapter by chapter, story by story, we're gonna sit at the Master's feet with total humility and allow the text as divinely inspired to speak to our hearts. Get ready because we're gonna start this journey of longing and really understanding God and His Word for you. We're starting a brand new way of teaching at the feast. We're starting something exciting. God is birthing a whole new generation of people who will hunger to follow the Word. By book, verse by verse chapter by chapter, story by story, we're gonna sit at the Master's feet with total humility and 
allow the text as divinely inspired to speak to our hearts. Get ready because we're going to start this journey of longing and really understanding God and His Word for you. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Holy Eucharist, the Solemnity of the Ascension. Today, we recall the Lord's Ascension into Heaven with His enthronement at the right hand of the Father, as we proclaim in the Creed. We also recall that the Ascension of the Lord marks the beginning of the Church's mission to create a civilization of love by spreading the gospel of life. Today, we also, obs we also observe the 54th World Communication Sunday. We, mark the Lord, we thank the Lord for the wonders of social communication and pray for those involved in the media apostolate. At the same time, let us not forget that only the message of Christ's love and His Spirit can really bring people closer through bonds of mutual respect solidarity and dedication to promote justice and peace throughout the world. This Mass is also being offered for the repose of the soul of Evangeline Almonte. Our priest presider for this Eucharistic celebration is Reverend Father Vicente Dan Cancino, MI of the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines. Let us all rise and greet our Mass celebrant, and let us glorify the Lord by singing the entrance song.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to Glory God in the, in the highest and on and earth, earth peace to people to of goodwill. We praise, we praise you. you. We bless we you. you. We adore you. We glorify you. you. We give you we thanks you for your great for glory. glory. Lord God, Lord God heavenly, heavenly King, King. O oh God, God, Almighty, Almighty Father, Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the most high, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who believe that your only begotten Son, our Redeemer, ascended this day to the heavens, may in spirit dwell already in heavenly realms, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. The book of the Acts of the Apostles begins where the Gospel of Mark and Luke end, the ascension of Jesus into heaven. He leaves his disciples with the promise of the Holy Spirit and the mission to be his witnesses to the ends of the earth. The first reading. A proclamation from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did until the day he was taken up after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. 
when they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, Suddenly, two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks, be, Thanks to be to God. God knows the throne to shouts of joy, a pair of trumpets for the Lord. God knows the Oh, people, clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy, for the Lord of most high we must be, the King of our own God goes up with shouts of joy, the Lord goes up with shouts of joy. of Jesus Christ at the right hand of the Father is the constant source of inspiration and hope for all Christian generations. Such is the message we can derive from this beautiful prayer of St. Paul. The second reading. A proclamation from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, May the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of Him. May the eyes of the hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to His call, and what are the riches of glory in His inheritance among the holy ones, and what is the surpassing greatness of His power for us who believe, in accord with the exercise of His great mind, which He worked in Christ. God raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, 
authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And God put all things beneath Christ's feet, and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia! Teach all nations, says the Lord. I am with you always until the end of the world. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. Friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening to everyone. Good evening, Father. Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, I'd like to greet everyone a, uh, a rainy evening. Umuulang din ba sa inyo? Na? Dito sa Peso City, mukhang umuulan. And this would be blessings for us here in the feast as we celebrate today the solemnity of the Ascension of the Lord. First, we would like really to thank the Lord for bringing us together once more in this celebration of the Eucharist. Thank, thanks to the Lord for all the blessings for this past week as we are now approaching the last week of May. And as we now, most of us are anticipating uh, the transition from uh, a modified ECQ to a general community quarantine. Oops, sandali ha. We are still in quarantine. No? Huwag po tayo masyadong kampante. Uh, we, we will still be in quarantine. Medyo luluwag-luwag na lang ng konti habang tayo ay bumabalik doon sa ating uh, normal. Pero bago na po doon sa pinatawag nating new normal. Yan. So, kumusta na kayo ang mga ka-feast? Aura? Kumusta na ang mga pamilya ninyo? ang inyong mga mahal sa buhay, ang inyong mga kasama sa inyong mga tahanan. No? Sige nga, kung kayo ay nanonood ngayon at kasama nyo ang inyong mga mahal sa buhay, pwede ba silang bigyan ng isang mahigpit na power hug? Yeah, very good. Masarap mag-start ang ating pagninilay pagkasakasama ng sila. Yeah. Starting with a hug. Starting with this power hug. No? Pag minsan na may nakikita akong mga magulang, na talagang hinahag nila yung kanilang mga anak na mahigpit na mahigpit. Eh, pag minsan naman, siguro yung may mga magulang na hindi sila ganun mag-express ng kanilang mga pag, uh, pag-ibig. They don't hug their, their children. Nevertheless, I hope that there would still be love in there. No? But there's always power in what I call the power of embrace, the power of that hug. And then that every hug, when two arms are placed together, 
all wrapped around you. You always feel at home. There is always power in the hug. There's always power in that beautiful experience of love. Power of love. And where did this came from? Saan ba galing itong kapangyarihan ng pag-ibig? Marami sa atin ang may kapangyarihan. Marami sa atin ang may hawak na kapangyarihan. Di ko ba? Marami sa atin ang uh, ginagamit ang kapangyarihan. O bato-bato ho sa langit ha? Huwag magagalit sa akin. Pag narinig nyo itong mga examples ko, pero tamaan sana kayo. O, may mga ilan na pag may kapangyarihan sila, they tend to feel special. Di ba? O ano ha? Ako presidente ha? O ako ang ano dito ha? Ako ang lead preacher dito ha? Ako ang special. Every time I come in, I feel special. Aha! May mga ganon. May mga ganon powers. <laughs> May mga ganun na pag may kapangyarihan, you feel special. No? What else? May mga iba sa atin na pag may kapangyarihan ka, you feel that you control people. Totoo yan. May mga ibang tao na, oh, ako ang nanay, ako ang tatay, I can control my children. Oh, dito ka, itong itik mong course, doon ka, pumunta ka. No? Para bang puppets. No? Ginagawa lang natin silang puppets. May mga ibang kapangyarihan din na hindi lang sila nagkocontrol o nagmamanipulate. Hindi lang sila they feel special pero meron din mga kapangyarihan that corrupts. That corrupts. There's a saying that power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Oh, big words. Hindi ba? True. And in every level of the society, that happens. Pag elementary ka, pag ikaw may kapangyarihan ka sa classroom, abay, you already exercise that power. Pag ikaw nag-high school o nakapagtapos ng pag-aaral, when you're already in that corporation, then you have that power. Or even in a community, like for example, the feast. You have your leaders here. Oh, mga leader style dito. Leaders, kayo mga brother and sisters, how do you exercise your power? Is it coming from a power of control, a power of manipulation, a power of that you feel special, or a power that corrupts? No. Jesus Christ, today, as we celebrate the solemnity of the ascension, has all the power of heaven and earth. Take note. He was lifted up into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And on that being seated, being enthroned at the right hand of the Father, He is endowed with all power of heaven and earth. Not an earthly power, but a divine power. Wow! Sabi natin, makapangyarihan ang ating Panginoong Yesus. But the power of Jesus is not corrupt. And even His absolute power does not corrupt absolutely. That is not the power of Jesus Christ. The power of Jesus when He ascended into heaven and when He was glorified is the power that is being shared to us. That is why it's good to be reminded of this, that from the glorified Jesus Christ, we are empowered to continue in mission and to be formed as one community, a community of SM Feast Aura. Okay. So kung makikita nyo, it is really coming from the glorified Jesus. When we form ourselves together, when the leaders 
formed this feast aura together. I hope it is not really coming from your own merits. It must, it is not attributed to our own power. Rather, it must be attributed to the power endowed and given to us by Jesus Christ himself. Why? Because he says in the gospel and even in the second reading, I have dominions diba? of every principality, authority, power. I have that. And not only that, he said that in the gospel. In the gospel, he says, I have the power, all power from heaven and on earth. Si Jesus, may, may power na. Si Jesus, nasa kanyang kapangyarihan. O, di ba? Pero si Jesus, hindi niya ginamit ang kanyang kapangyarihan for himself. Rather, he empowered us to continue in mission and to be formed as one community. And I do believe that is what happened to Feast SM Aura. We are empowered by the glorified Jesus. And the next question there is, how, Father? Paano po? Paano po tayo in-empower ni Jesus? And umakit na siya sa langit. Sa totoo nga naman. Why? First, I'd like to get it from the first reading. Jesus Christ, when he was ascended into heaven, being lifted up into heaven, there were two angels with his disciples. Di ba pag may umaakyat, sinusundo mo rin pag-akyat. O di ba pag minsan yung lobo, nabitawan ng bata, ay, 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 ay lobo, lobo. Diba? At susundo mo yung lobo kung saan siya pupunta. Di ba? Pero, no umaakyat si Jesus sa kalangitan, yung kanyang mga apostoles, sinusundan ng, din ng kanyang pag-akyat sa langit. Pero nung sinabi ng anghel, come on, stop looking upward. Look at what is here on earth. Start looking what is here on earth. Stop looking upward. But start looking what is here on earth. What does that mean? It means that the power given to us when Jesus Christ ascended into heaven is a power to testify for Jesus Christ. The power to become witnesses of the risen Christ. The power to proclaim Jesus Christ. All of us, lahat po tayo, binigyan na kapangyarihan magpahayag at maging saksi ng ating Panginoong Jesus. Kung baga, tama na yung tingala. Ang gawin natin, tumingin sa ating kapaligiran, sa ating pamilya na katabi mo ngayon, sa iyong kapitbahay, dito sa ating Feast SM Aura in our own community, and proclaim in your life, be, become witnesses, and testify na si Jesus ang totoong Panginoon natin. Na si Jesus at ang kanyang mga turo ay ang ating dapat sudan. Yun dapat ang kapangyarihan. At masasabi mo, Uy, kung ako lang ang pagbabasihan noon, di ko kaya. Kung ako lang ang bibigyan noon, ay naku po, hindi ko alam kung saan kukugutin yung kapangyarihan na yun. Truly, it is a power given to us by God. Brother Randy, diba? Sister Lisa, si Brother Bo, I think they would agree with me. They are great teachers. But they cannot say, and they will not say that it is all about from themselves. I heard them several times. They always glorify God. They are able to preach because God has given them this gift of preaching, this gift of testifying to the Lord, this gift of being a witness of our Lord Jesus Christ. True? True. Power coming from Jesus, not from ourselves, to continue his mission. And not only that, 
that mission given to us by God is not only sinasabi sa mga apostles in the gospel should not only be to the chosen people of God but a mission to all the world to all parts of the world that is the mission entrusted to us and what is that mission to proclaim to have or to make disciples when you preach Jesus Christ you have to make disciples and you know what disciples mean diba? disciple is someone who has a living relationship with a master that is a disciple and when you make disciples out of you out of your preaching out of your proclamation nako po ito mga disciples na to, they form themselves together we form ourselves together because we believe in the same master who keeps on teaching us and after we form ourselves we believe in jesus then we are baptized in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit and this baptized disciples this baptized children of god can now form together be one as one community and they call themselves now as feast sm or it is jesus christ who empowered us to be together here in the feast it is not about your preachers once again or the leaders of the community or even the priest no but it is jesus christ who empowered us to be together it is jesus christ who empowered us to be in mission and was one community in mission it is jesus christ through the holy spirit who will continue this beautiful mission until the end of age diba itong mission natin hindi lang ngayon eh it has been there even after Jesus's ascension to heaven from one generation to another even from our own generation we can pass this beautiful mission to our children and to our children's children we can pass this beautiful faith to our children to our friends to our community so that as one beautiful community then our children's children can be a community in mission also not coming from our own generation no but coming from jesus christ himself he is the one who is the source of all this power of all this authority of all this mission of all this community for us alam niyo mga feast sm ora naalala ko pa nung araw nung patay sa taas ng fully book ba yun uh, talagang pag nalilate ako noon na nagmamas talagang um, I have two steps ahead para marating ko yung pinakbook ng fully book and then na, na naranasan ko pa yun yung mga umuulan, may mga times na umuulan, may mga times na kulang pa tayo nun ng mga upuan at kailangan manghiram ng mga upuan, may mga times na nalilit pa tayo sa misa, may mga times na, alam niyo yun, we are still organizing ourselves. But I'd like to thank you this feast and to the leaders. Whatever challenges that comes in our community, whatever difficulties whatever pain or suffering it is god who have formed us to be one community and it is god who will sustain our community together that's why i urge you do not forget to teach the young to empower the young 
to continue proclaiming God's word. We will fade away. Our time will fade little by little. And we have to pass on this beautiful experience of Jesus so that a beautiful tomorrow can come. That is the beautiful gift of faith, the beautiful gift of mission, and the beautiful gift of Feast SMR. Congratulations, Feast SMR, for continuing this mission, even with this quarantine and COVID-19. Patuloy. Patuloy yung mission para sa sambayanan. Thank you. Let us all stand and let us proclaim our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The ascension of the Lord reminds us not only of His glory in heaven, but also of our duty to be heralds, witnesses of His gospel in our society. Aware of our limitations and weaknesses, we implore the Lord's help, saying, Lord, help us spread your love. Lord, help us spread your love. For the whole church, may she bring the light of the gospel to all nations and cultures by using creatively all means of social communication, let us pray. Lord, help us spread your love. For the Holy Father, the bishops, and all religious leaders, may they continue to edify us with their good example in promoting a civilization of love and life. Let us pray. Lord, help us spread your love. For all those who feel so attracted to earthly values, as to forget the heavenly ones, may they find in our good example an invitation to raise the level of their aspirations. Let us pray. Lord, help us spread your love. For all those who have reached the bottom of human perversion, may they heed the call to a sincere conversion and perseverance in good works. Let us pray. Lord, help us spread your love. For all the media practitioners in our country, may they effectively contribute to the creation of a more united and more caring nation. Let us pray. Lord, help us spread your love. For the victims of the coronavirus and those who have assisted them in different capacities, doctors, nurses, paramedics, chaplains, and all other healthcare personnel and frontliners. May the Lord give eternal rest to those who died and reward those who have done their best to assist the victims. Let us pray. Lord, help us spread your love. 
in the silence of our hearts, let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and for our personal intentions and all intentions offered in this Mass. Let us pray. Lord, help us spread your love. Lord God, continue to bless the efforts of your church to bring your gospel to the nations through the means of social communication. May we see already in time the fruits of the kingdom established by your Son, Jesus, who lives and saves forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Holy Eucharist. We will now have the offering of the bread and wine, symbols of the fruits of our hard-earned labor for week. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder, mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of lords and Lord of hosts. He ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together, then ending him of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks. He, gave, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Camillus and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. i 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed the hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another the peace of Christ. Peace Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant, Grant us peace. Peace in you. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to partake in this meal. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive the sacrament of you, come at least to return into my heart. I embrace you as you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. 
Almighty ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd like to thank uh, Feast SM Aura for continuing this beautiful mission of Christ, of proclaiming his beautiful words of love, of hope and kindness, especially in this time of COVID-19. Thank you to the leaders. The leaders pa dati at hanggang ngayon, our preachers, our brothers and sisters who are organizing this. Uh, this is really, um, if this is the new normal that we are anticipating, that we will have an online preaching, online masses, online sharing of the word of God, then let it be. Jesus will always accompany Feast SM Aura until the end of each. Remember that. Thank you so much. Let us pray the Lord the Okay. Let us pray the Horatio okay. Imperata prayer against COVID-19. God, our Father, we Father, come to you in our name to, to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures to this disease and stop its transmission. P protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those aff 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 afflicted by this pandemic. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin Mary. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Let us all thank Father Dan Cancino for celebrating the Holy Mass with us. Thank you, Father. Please You're always welcome. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. After his, this resurrection, Christ was seen by his disciples. When he appears as judge, may you be pleasing forever in his sight. Amen. Jesus has taken his seat in majesty at the right hand of the Father. May you have the joy of experiencing that he is also with you to the end of time. Amen. You live in the expectation of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. May your hearts be open to receive him with joyful love. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Go and tell every nation, Alleluia, Christ our Savior is risen, Alleluia, lift your voices in praise, through his love we are saved, Christ is risen, Alleluia, thanks be to God, Alleluia.
everything that's going on, it's easy to look around and to see hopelessness or fear or doubt. And maybe we've set our dreams aside or maybe we feel like we've lost hope. But we believe in the resurrection power of Jesus. And so today, I want to invite you to worship and to declare that this is a resurrection just waiting to happen. The head that once was crowned with thorns is crowned with glory now. The Savior now to wash our feet. Now at His feet we Shines for all to see. Your name, your name is victory. All praise will rise to Christ our King. Your name, your name is victory. All praise will rise to Christ our King. Oh, oh, oh. The fear that held us now gives way to Him who is our Final breath upon the cross is now alive in me. Your name, your name is victory. All praise will rise to Christ our King. Your name. Soldiers watched in vain 
was borrowed for three days His body there would not remain Our God has robbed the Resurrected King is resurrecting me. Brothers and sisters, happy resurrection. I just want to say hi to all of you who are listening and watching us via online, via the live stream of the Feast SM Aura um, online feast today. And I want to welcome all of you, all of you who are uh, who joined us for Mass. I just pray. I sincerely pray, brothers and sisters, that you are all well, that you are safe and you're all well. A few more days, a few more days in the modified, enhanced community quarantine. And uh, we, have, we have a lot to learn and we will give you a, a special talk today because I believe that God wants to talk to you still that God wants to speak to you, that God wants you to speak to your circumstances right now. And I just believe that God will speak to your hearts today. Open your hearts, brothers and sisters. Open your minds. Let God speak to your heart. Lean into God's word. And I know and I'm sure that this message is for you. Today, we're going to talk about the future. And our special talk is about the future. And, and that I, we entitled it, Does Your Future Have a Future? Does, does your future have a future? And I want you to buckle down, relax. If you're not relaxed right now, um, just get a pen and paper so you can write down because we're going to give you two more assignments. Remember, two weeks ago, we gave you three assignments, writing down 100 blessings, writing down a trial that you survived. But now I'm going to give you two more. And if you're ready, I want you to join me in declaring God's abundance over our lives together in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Today I receive all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. 
Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I'm God's beloved. Say it. I'm God's servant. I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, have your way in us. Have your way in us, O Lord God. Speak to us and, and just allow us to embrace your word and allow us to be transformed by your word. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Again, I want to welcome all of you who are here. I want to welcome yeah, some people some people who i haven't seen you know i haven't seen you physically but now i see you online hello hello how are you um yeah sheila akende how are you um yeah um it's gonna be fun all right so again last week uh two weeks ago i talked about three life-changing assignments today i'm gonna talk about two more two more assignments okay um, I want to bring you back to last week's talk. Last week, we talked about prospering in a time of crisis. We talked about Jeremiah talking to the exiled Jews, exiled to Babylon. And uh, Jeremiah spoke God's word when God said and God showed them that he wanted them to prosper in a time of crisis, which we applied to our own situation. We are in a crisis and I believe that God can prosper you. God can prosper me. God can prosper you. And that's the message last week. And today, we're still going to talk about how we can survive this crisis. And we're going to talk and we're going to uh, talk about not Jeremiah, but we're going to talk an about another prophet. And his message is God is doing something new. You may be asking me, Randy, what else is new? We've been quarantined for more than two months. Yes, our situation may not change, may have not changed. Our situation may have still be the, um, been the same. But I want you to know that in the spiritual realm, God is doing something new. And it's just a matter of time when the Lord will reveal them to us. Okay? So... Um, again, we're going to read from Isaiah, and before that, I want you to extend your hands towards God's Word, and we will uh, honor the Word of God together. Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. We're going to read from Isaiah. And this is a very encouraging set of verses. And I want you to just listen carefully or read with me. Isaiah 43, verse 16 to 19. I am the Lord who opened a way through the waters, making a dry path through the sea. I called forth the mighty army of Egypt with all its chariots and horses. I drew them beneath the waves and they drowned, their lives snuffed out like a smoldering candle wick. But forget all that. It is nothing compared to what I am going to do, for I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. Brothers and sisters, the word of the Lord. Can you extend your hands towards the word one more time? And let's honor the word again. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Brothers and sisters, I just read to you a very encouraging verse. And this has something to do with what we're going to talk about today. God is doing something new. If you are seated beside someone, please look for someone to declare this. Tell someone that God is doing something new. We may be old, but God is doing something new. We may be where we were before, but God is doing something new. 
All right? God is doing something new. One of the things that I love to do is I, I, I sometimes feel the need for me to prop myself up or to encourage myself because brothers, sisters, faith comes from hearing and what is heard is the, is the word of God. Sometimes I feel that I need to hear the word of God, hear the words of God. So sometimes I read the verses aloud or sometimes I talk to myself and uh, I, I just try to speak goodness into my life, into my future. I remember when my son was born, he was an infant, a few days old. I held him in my hand like this with one hand and I looked at him and in, in, in swaddling clothes, I looked at him and I said, Ziki, I want you to dream your own dreams. And I spoke into his future. I spoke into his future. I said, you're going to follow God. You're going to be a man after God's own heart. And I want you to follow your own dreams. I want you to achieve them. I want you, I want you to just live the life that God wants you to live. So I spoke into his future. Brothers and sisters, we need to do that. We need to speak good stuff into our future. Speak good stuff into our future. And uh, when this happens, we kind of get encouraged and uh, we get the strength that we need, the courage that we need to move forward. Okay? Now, going back to uh, Isaiah, was, was Isaiah saying something different? All right, we have two um, uh, prophets, Jeremiah and Isaiah. But in the verses that I read to you, remember Jeremiah spoke to the exiled people of, of, of uh, Jerusalem, where they were exiled to Babylon. Isaiah was also speaking to the same group, okay? So um, they were exiled, and Isaiah was speaking to the same group. In Isaiah 43, verse 16 to 17, it said, I am the Lord who opened a way through Jesus, who through the waters, making a dry path through the sea. Remember? I called forth the mighty army of Egypt with all its chariots and horses. I drew them beneath the waves and they drowned. Their lives snuffed out like a smoldering, smoldering candle wick. Um, the, Isaiah was talking about and trying to remind the people Remind the people, the Jews who were exiled, about God's faithfulness. Jeremiah spoke to them. He gave them a word of hope. They gave them a message of hope. Isaiah was doing the same, but he was reminding them about something that God did before. He reminded them about the Red Sea, how they escaped the, the chariots of, the, of Pharaoh, how they escaped the soldiers that were running after them. Uh, through the Red Sea, when God said, "Remember, I parted the Red Sea, and you were servo you were able to pass. Your ancestors were able to to, to pass, and um, I ca I can do the same. I can easily do the same." Which leads me to my second point. It's good to, for us to speak into our future, like when we wake up in the morning, we talk to ourselves. This is going to be a great day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. At the start of the year, we speak into our future. Something good is going to happen to me. We sing into our future. This very day, this very year, something good is going to happen to me. Jesus is blessing my way. Didn't we sing that at the start of the year? And we are... A few months into the year, and here we are in a crisis, in a crisis. Brothers and sisters, I want you to continue believing. If you stop believing, I want you to continue believing that God is doing something new. And Isaiah was reminding the Jews of God's faithfulness because remembering is important. Remembering it's important, as I always say, life is lived forward, but appreciated backwards. So remembering is important. It's important for you to remember. And how, how can you remember? 
I uh, I marvel at people who who have this journals. They every single day. When 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 I was younger, we called it diary, and uh, they they write a, they have a prayer journal and they write everything that God speaks to their heart, every single thing that happens to them, every little miracle that happened to them that day before they retire at night before they sleep they do that and it's it's journaling and it's really um documenting the goodness of god and i i want you not not to look far away but i just want you to what we have every single day every single meeting every single feast we have the feast bulletin that bulletin that is painstakingly written by by volunteers, by our brothers and sisters who are who are just documenting the goodness of God. And this bulletin, we now have them online. We now have them in, in digital form. Okay. And and these things, these things remind us about God's faithfulness. So remembering is important. I remember this day when God gave me this miracle. I remember the time. When God answered my prayers, when God healed me, when God provided for me, when God restored my relationship, remembering is important. I now go to the assignment that we're going to have. Assignment number one, I want you to get a piece of paper, okay, or you can do it on your computer, and I want you to write a short history of God experiences, a short history of God experiences. When was the last time God provided for you? When was the last time God answered your prayers? When was the last time you experienced God? When was the last time you had so much peace in your heart and you knew that God is there? God experiences. Write down a short history of God experiences. You can do it in three categories. Number one, answered prayers. Answered prayers. He, I, I believe that every time, every single time that we pray, God will always have an answer to it. And uh, many times it's a yes. Sometimes it's a no. Sometimes it's a wait. But nevertheless, God answers prayers. And he answers prayers having our interests in mind. I, 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 I remind you, God will always work to your advantage. During covid during this crisis, how has God answered your prayers? That's category number one. Category number two, transform trials. When your trials became your triumphs. It started out as a trial. It started out as a challenge. But it ended up you conquering it. Um, it started out with a problem. But it turned out to be the promise. Transform trials. Write it down. Okay, write it down. Um, what trials did you go through that looking back now in hindsight, you can really say that, oh, wow, that trial made me who I am now. That trial made me stronger. And what will not destroy me will make me stronger. Okay, so answered prayers, transform trials. And then number three, God bearer signs. God bearer signs. What are God bearer signs? Um, God works through people. God works and speaks to us through many different ways. And I believe that if we're asking for God's will, He can speak to us. Uh, he can speak to us in our hearts. He can speak to us through His Word. And He can speak to us through people. Through people. Sometimes God will use people to speak to us. But here's the news. Sometimes. God will use you to speak to people. God will use you and what you're saying and your friendships, your networks to be a bearer of God. God's God bearer signs. How has God worked through you all these past years? Were you instrumental in bringing this person closer to Jesus? Then you were a bearer of God. Were you, con um, were, were you instrumental in, in uh, helping this church finish construction? Then you are a bearer of God. Write it down. 
Because I believe, brothers and sisters, that miracles in whatever form are signs of God's presence in us. Every time you see a miracle, you just know and believe that God is present. Because where, 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 where miracles are, God is always there. Okay? So, so there are three things, all right? I'll recall. I, I'll, I'll uh, remind you again. I'll, I'll summarize. Answered prayers, transformed trials, and God-bearer signs. Okay? I want you to hold on to this because I'm going to go to the next verses, and it will just contradict everything that I said. <laughs> okay? Um, then I'll explain how and why. Um, yes, uh, we need to remember. We need to speak life into ourselves. We need to speak into our future, and we need to remember. But the next verses from the same sets of verses that we read, Isaiah 43 in verse 18, after you know saying God, just remember, God says, <clears throat> but forget all that. It is nothing compared to what I'm going to do, for I'm about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create, create rivers in the dry wasteland. God is saying it's good to remember, but let's not get stuck because you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. Can you tell someone beside you, you ain't seen nothing yet. Again, it's good to remember, but let's not get stuck. And let's not put God in a box. Let's give him room to work wonders. Let's give him room to dazzle us, to, um, to, uh, to surprise us. That's what this verse is saying. It is nothing compared to what I'm going to do. So if you're enjoying God's faithfulness, and if you're thanking him because he, he's allowed you to survive the crisis, I want you to know that God is doing something new. And he's saying, forget all that. It's good to remember. But forget all that in the, in, in the wake of the blessing that I'm going to allow you to experience. It's nothing compared to what I am going to do. For I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. I love that song, Don Moen's song. God will make a way when there seems to be no way. Just when you think that there's no other way, God will create a pathway through the wilderness and he will create rivers in the dry wasteland. Gosh, I just love that promise. I just love that promise. And, and I say in, in NIV, it says, Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. John Maxwell said that if all you're talking about is what you did yesterday, you haven't done anything significant today. <laughs> yes, let's recall how faithful God is. But let's also be ready for what he's going to do in you and through you. Don't get stuck in the good old days. Don't get stuck in the good old days because what brought you where you are will not bring you where you want to go. And uh, um, you, let's not rest and relax because this worked. We're going to do this and we're going to rest and we're going to we're going to uh, be more lenient and we're going to uh, we're going to relax the rules. But but again, it's good to remember. But let's not get stuck. What is familiar. Sometimes we get lulled into complacency because of something that's familiar. Because what is familiar is cozy. What is unfamiliar is scary. <laughs> and God always pushes us to the unfamiliar. God always encourages us to go out of our comfort zone so that we can see. Yes, I am faithful. God says, yes, I have been faithful before. And, maybe, and, and, and I have delivered you out there. But don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Don't be too familiar because I'm going to do something new. Because I'm going to surprise you because I'm not done with you yet. All right? So going to, to our talk, is there a future for your future? <laughs> there are two principles to create a future for, for your future. Okay? Two important principles. 
that I want you to remember, I want you to write down. Okay, number one, you cannot live on yesterday's victories. I said earlier what John Maxwell said, that if you're talking about yet, if what you're talking about today are your victories yesterday, you haven't won a battle today. So you cannot live on yesterday's victories. Again, it's good to come, go back to it, but let's always think. And this is, this is what will make you survive during this time. If you will adapt and if you will adjust and if you will seek and try to solve the future problems of the new normal. I'll give you an example. Blockbuster video. How many of you know what blockbuster video is during the times of the vhs started with the times of the betamax <laughs> the blockbuster video used to be a multi-billion business in the u.s and if you want to borrow i don't know um some of you may be too young to remember this but i i remember this because my older brother used to borrow, not from Blockbuster, but from a video rental company store. But this is what Blockbuster video is. They had over 9,000 stores scattered all over America, and they're a multi-billion dollar business. But they, 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 just, um, they were just so successful that they thought that it will last forever. Little did they know that there's this small company called Netflix that while they're renting out VHS, okay, VHS, you have to go to the store to borrow and then take home three, four, five, six, seven tapes with you. Netflix is was trying to start a DVD delivery business. You will just call. You will just uh, look at the list and then you will call and then they will deliver. Did Blockbuster mind it? Of course not, because they were number one, and they didn't think that at the th a time will come when uh, they will they will have to to to, to close. Yeah, in some time in nineteen in 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 uh, twenty ten, I think, or they they filed for bankruptcy. Were they successful? Yes, they were successful, but the problem was they rested on their laurels. They got too complacent. They 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 were they they stayed within their comfort zones because it was cozy, and they did not adjust to the times. Netflix did. Netflix did, and in fact, Blockbuster even tried, you know, to adapt a bit, but they didn't want to change much of what they how they used to do things, and um, yeah. So after some time, they had to close. Sadly, brothers and sisters, like Blockbuster, we, we like improving on the old model instead of replacing it with the new one. And that's what Netflix challenged. And Netflix challenged that. And pretty soon, they were selling. They started selling. And now, history will explain and history um, will say it all. Netflix is in every household because especially during this pandemic you watch netflix you watch cloy crazy landing something on you or we watch korean novellas um and, and and netflix is there now blockbuster is nowhere to be found my question brothers and sisters during this crisis will you be a netflix or a blockbuster Will you be a Netflix or a blockbuster? Let's not relax. Let's try to change. Let's try to challenge things. Because this is what God promises us. That, that you we forget. And what did God say in, in Isaiah 43 verse 9? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. When there seems to be nothing, I will make a pathway through the wilderness. And I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. God will provide. God will make a way. Let's remember that. Let's remember that. As long as we're open to the new ways that God will introduce to us, 
the new ways of doing things will be fine will be fine all right discern if god is asking you to go to unfamiliar territory discern if god is asking you to go to unfamiliar territory let me just give you an example i know this company it's a sanitizing company they they clean they 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 uh, sanitize they um, disinfect etc etc someone brilliant started a business on sanitation a business on disinfecting rooms houses buildings just before the lockdown started and today guess what they're mean they're in business they're in business it was unfamiliar when he started that but ask yourself is god asking you to go to the unfamiliar territory because maybe that is where god wants you to go all right so principle number one you cannot live on yesterday's victories principle number two you cannot live on yesterday's faith you cannot live on yesterday's anointing because I think that God promises us a fresh supply every day because God is fresh. God's anointing is fresh. God's faithfulness is fresh. God's mercy is fresh. It says in the word of God that He, the steadfast love of the Lord, the steadfast love of the Lord is constant. It's steady. It's renewed each morning. It never ceases. It's a fresh supply. So you cannot live off yesterday's anointing. Yesterday's anointing and yesterday's grace was for yesterday. Today, it's a new day. And there's a new fresh supply of faith. You cannot live on yesterday's faith. Faith has to be refreshed daily. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, Brother Bo tells us that Light of Jesus family, I remember I was attending another community and I, I, I heard about Light of Jesus. And Light of Jesus was pretty successful at that time. And uh, their numbers grew and it uh, grew from a few hundred, started in a garage. And I met Brother Bo. I was a fetus then. <laughs> I met Brother Bo. He was already leading the community. And uh, yes, LOJ had this some sort of success because they were growing numbers. But uh, the time came that Brother Bo was telling us that it stopped. They stopped growing and they were wondering what will happen. They were wondering if they will just disappear like many other communities, like many other charismatic communities because there were no people who were attending anymore and then the leaders had stuff to do they just had to stop meeting altogether and uh, Bo was uh, brother Bo was uh, thinking about that until the Lord spoke to him and uh, yeah because there's a fresh anointing and the Lord just gave impressed upon brother Bo what we should do and uh, uh, the rest is history we started the feast we adapted we changed we adjusted to the new way that God wanted us to do things. And today, we have more than 500, almost 600 feasts all over the world. And yet, today, that, that, that method is being challenged again. What brought us to 500, 600 plus feasts is being challenged today because of the crisis, because of COVID-19. And now, we're adapting again. The new normal. We now have feasts online. Anywhere you go, different times of the day, you can see live streams from Australia. You can see live streams from the provinces, from Cebu, Davao, Mega Manila. You in different areas in Manila, like as I speak, there's also, as, as we are having a feast today, right now for Feast SM Aura, there's another live stream by um, being, being run by a feast Quezon City. So, so this is the new challenge and uh, this will bring us to where we want to go because we believe that God is not finished with us yet. And that's the same message I want to share you. God is not finished with you yet. If you think that God has already 
blessed you. I'm telling you, God is saying, forget that. I am going to do something new. It's going to be great. So, number two, assignment number two, assignment number one is uh, you will wait. Let me remember. Assignment number one is uh, you're supposed to uh, wait. I can't, I can't remember. Oh my goodness. Um, wait, uh, what? So uh, let me go through my notes. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. A little, a little. <laughs> Assignment number one, write a short history of God experiences that you've gone through, that you went through, God experiences in your lives, okay? Now, assignment number two is define your reason for waking up every morning. Anong gumigising sa'yo? <laughs> Sino ang gumigising sa iyo sa umaga? Why do you wake up every morning? What's your biggest reason for waking up every morning? I love uh, I love it when uh, when talking about some mission. Um, I I love how the Lord continues to speak to me about what He wants me to do, and it's pretty clear for me that my mission is to oh. Okay, sorry about that. Someone's trying to call. Um, there you go. And he's trying to call again. Okay. Um, um, where was I? Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I love it when, when God just reminds me about this, this promise that I made to him, that there's nothing that he will ask of me that I will not give him. And this mission for me to tell more people about the world. Because I have to tell you the truth, this is what wakes me up in the morning. This is what just excites me. This, what, this is what excites me. And uh, I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, we may have been restricted physically, but the, God's call on your life is not canceled. God's call on your life continues. And many times, God's call is constant. It's there. But sometimes God wants us to approach it or to do things differently. Our methodology may be different. That's why my reminder to all of you, because this is the common mistake. We are so quick to change, to divorce our mission for our strategy when it has to be the other way around. Be faithful to your mission and be ready to divorce or to put aside your strategy because your mission remains mission does not equal method and many times your strategy will change just like the light of jesus family our mission is to still make disciples but from the live feast we started out as an attractional feast and then we said we need to be missional and then we became an attractional missional and now we're going doing things online huh online so so um let's let's uh let's uh, let's recap number uh, assignment number two define your reason for waking up every morning another question that you can ask is what do you want people to say about you hmm? what do you want to people to say about you like uh, think think if if you die and people go to your funeral and they look at you and then what will they say will they say um um, it's too bad that he died too soon, right? and or or will people say, hmm. "Good, good God, thank you, Jesus, you took him already." <laughs> and what what if 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 you'll be given a chance to to um, craft the message on your tombstone, what will it be? Me, I always joke that I if I if ever I want the th three letters. BRB, <laughs> be right back. <laughs> what would you want people to say about you? And uh, you can craft it. You can craft it this way, okay? Um, you can write the sentence, fill in the blanks, okay? My mission is to blank, insert the verb, and then insert the noun through, insert the method, okay? Again, the method will change. 
but but the mission should be constantly the same okay now for me if i'm gonna do it say it okay my mission is to share god's love god's goodness god's kindness god's faithfulness through the spoken word by preaching and media huh that's my mission that's what wakes me up in the morning when i wake up in the morning i say thank you lord for another day another opportunity to tell people about how good you are my mission is to share god's love god's kindness god's goodness through the spoken word and media so you write it right there now i need you to go into prayer write your mission statement write your mission statement okay um and i want you to be to to be sensitive and i want you to to think about that the most important new thing that he's doing inside is inside you and i want you to uh, try to determine what that is okay so number one you may write a short history of, of god experiences number two um write the, the reasons why you wake up in the morning okay i'll continue isaiah 43 verse 19 god promises us that if we do that i will create rivers in the dry wasteland so in in the midst in the middle in the center of the desert god will give you water god will refresh you god will refresh you when when in a dry wasteland god can can provide and give water in john chapter 7 verse 37 to 38 um isaiah wrote of what wrote about god making waters but jesus wrote about the same living water um john chapter 7 verse 37 to 38 excuse me <coughs> it reads anyone who is thirsty may come to me anyone who believes in me may come and drink for the scriptures declare, rivers of living water will flow from his heart. In the time of crisis, during this time, rivers of living water will flow from your heart. And rivers of living water, what is living water? It's, these are water. This is water that gives life. So when people associate with you, when people meet you, when people interact with you, it's natural for you to be giving them life. That river is flowing inside of you. Did you get it? That river is flowing inside of you. And I want you to be excited because God is doing something new. All right? I need you to do those assignments and I need you to post it on, on, on maybe on Feast SM Aura page or Post it on your pages, Facebook pages, um, God experiences that you've gone through because you do not know who you will bless. Never underestimate the power of your testimony. Okay? Number two, write and determine and find out what the reasons are that you have, the reasons that you have for waking up in the morning. Remember what I said before? Faith is the a picture of the future, okay? Giving power to today, giving power to the present. When you know what God wants you to do and you know your mission in your heart, you have power in the present that will propel you to the promise. Can I pray for you? I'll ask you to stand where you are, or if you don't want to stand, just stay seated. Just put your hand over your chest. Father in heaven, we come before you today. And we declare, Lord God, that we are excited because we know that you are doing something new. I pray for my brothers and sisters who just feel that everything's so old. I pray, Lord, that you will just remind them that you are a God who... Uh, who renews us. You are a God who promised us, promised to bring us from glory to glory. And as we declare that you are doing something new, we are open to it and we accept it. We receive it 
and we live it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's continue to worship God because God is doing something new. And I want you to be excited about it because the best is yet to come. In Jesus' name.
that is my prayer that our faith will always be above every fear these days brothers and sisters because of the uncertainty it's very easy to be fearful but i want you to not deny your feeling of fear but i want you not, not to deny it but i want you to declare that there's someone bigger than our fear and uh, that's god that's god that's my prayer for you all right before i let you go i just want to say that this time this is around the time when we receive your offering i want you to decide from your in your heart how much you want god to give how, how much you want to give god how much god wants you to give i want you to pray hard okay now because we're in a new normal we cannot collect it physically we're gonna do it through transfers bank transfers and i'm gonna show you some um ways you can give but you we cannot stop the cycle of generosity we need to remain and continue to be generous now mm -hmm. you see bpi you can you can transfer it um we're, we're, we're securing an account but in the meantime you use this you use this qr code bpi and the, that person is a trustworthy person that's maricar she handles our finances and uh she is uh, handling our finances very well so uh yeah just just look at that bpi qr code and then you can also transfer to bdo that's our account for the district okay and we also have gcash we also have gcash and if you want to write a check just do that and then give it to us maybe when we see each other or uh, you can deposit it to uh, the, the 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 bdo account okay so there are many ways of giving and we will continue to make it easy for you to give but the important thing is we do not stop because the mission never stop not stops and the cycle of generosity should continue now you may ask but you know we're, we're online yes uh, i want you to know that the equipment that you that we have for streaming the software we pay for these and uh, we also uh, uh contribute to uh, the light of jesus family and uh, all of this happens because you continue to give so again i encourage you to continue the cycle of generosity and continue to give to feast sm aura okay so there what else um i have some few announcements jewels conference happening in ha happening on june 6. jewels conference happening in, happening on june 6. all things new you make all things new this is the theme of our jewels conference it's our women's conference and uh, for the first time in the history of the jewels conference we're going to do it online and uh, the good news is admission is free but you have to register uh, you you see the slide okay june 6 saturday 8 30 a.m up to 12 30 p.m okay um uh 8 30 a.m to 12 30 p.m you register for free we just want you to we just want to know who you are and this is gonna be awesome okay i'm telling you Padami na po ng padami ang nagsa-sign up. Wait, wait. Let me remind, remind you pala. I, I, I was just reminded about something when I said register. I need you to send us the transaction slip of your love offering so that we know and we can account it properly. Okay? So whatever, if you gave, whatever way you gave, I need you to take a picture of the transaction slip or send us a copy of the deposit slip so that we will know. Just, we need to know because we we want to be responsible and we want to be open and transparent with whatever we're receiving so please send us a copy of your offering or whatever whatever way you se you sent the money to us okay now another important announcement is hunger club every monday risa kaupeng singson kaupeng is holding a bible study it's called hunger club it's for people who are hungry you know that you are hungry for god because it's you feel it in your gut you feel like everything so bitten so bitten and you want to just devour more of god's word i invite you to be part of the hunger club you can go to her facebook page and just join her there okay 
now this is uh, Risa being part of the Makati district. Um, this is this forms part of our formation. So the Hunger Club with Risa Singson Kaupeng, and I wanted to stand by for more uh, other others other things that we're gonna do. But uh, yeah, it happens every Monday at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Join the Hunger Club. <sighs> Feel it in your gut. Okay. Um, what else? What else? You know, kumukonti na kayo eh. Alam ko, gutom na kayo eh. And, uh, and I, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. Sige, kumain na kayo. <laughs> because it's 8 o'clock. Uh, but, but seriously, I want to thank you for joining me. I want to thank everyone. I want to thank uh, our visual managers, our, our visual AV team. Theo, thank you. Celine, uh, all those who served. Our worship team, Isa. Thank you for leading. Um, I want you to be excited because uh, it just keeps getting better. It just keeps getting better. Again, I pray that you join us again next week. Um, Feast SM Aura. And if you came late, tomorrow you can catch Feast Makati Glorieta, 10.30 a.m. Um, on the Feast Makati Glorieta page and the Feast Makati District page. Okay? So God is good, and uh, let's declare God's abundance over our lives. I pray for all of you, Father. I pray that my brothers and sisters will continue to be blessed. May they experience your blessings throughout the week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Uh, Jesus loves you. Mama Mary loves you. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless everyone. Bloom where you're planted. God is doing something new in your life. Amen. Let my faith Let my faith be beyond The short sightedness of my vision Often hinders me To see your plans for me I forget that in Season. You're the one who's got me through my thick and thin But you're still so good to me My King, forever I will sing Of the wonders of your love The love that gives me peace Your life I will persevere in the moment For whatever comes I know you're there for me You've been so, so The love that gives me peace Your life, you gave it up for me There is no fear that will keep Your love away from me I'm alive and now I'm free Of the wonders of your love, the love.